Hello, students. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I am doing great. Very happy to see you once again. So Juan, were you trying to work in the platform? Yes. Uh, no, Luis was Luis. trying to work on, on the platform. Yes. Luis, yeah, I was reading on the on the exercises. We are going to go and check the platform today a little bit so you can go and see the exercises. In some cases, the exercises, you have to be very careful because with one letter, one symbol, one period, then the sentence is going to be incorrect. So that's why we need to be very careful with the exercises that we do. But we are going to see it later on uh, today. So I am very, very glad to have the opportunity to be with you once again. And we are going to work on the class today. So yesterday I asked you to work in some investigation. Did you have the chance to investigate? ¿Tuvieron la oportunidad de investigar lo que les pedí el día de ayer? Yes, no, a little bit. Yes, yes, miss. Ok. Precisamente going... ahorita estoy pidiendo copia. <risa> <risa> ahorita estoy, estamos comparando conocimientos. <risa> ok. Eh, ok. Luis está pidiendo ayuda en el chat. Go to class, le vamos a poner. Ok. ¿Qué tal su día? ¿Cómo la pasaron? Good, bad, so so, excellent. So so. <laughs> Why? We need to be very careful because. COVID, Omicron, Dengue, everything, it's outside. So you have to be very oh. careful. <laughs> yeah, you, you really don't know if it is the flu, if it is COVID, if it is Omicron, if it is just the cough, if it is the weather, if it is, we never know, right? We never know. No. So we need to be very careful, right? Very careful, wash your hands, use alcohol on the hands, okay? And I mean, Keep all the all the different uh, ways to protect. So, because COVID, it's not a game. We need to protect ourselves from that. Okay. Yes. How do you say clima? Clima. Weather. Uh, okay. Weather. I am going to send it on the chat. Is it weather? Weather. Uh huh. Is it weather? <laughs> the weather. <laughs> Yeah, every everything is on the weather, right? It's like, the, ah, 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 the weather, the weather is. The the morning is freezer. The morning, the mornings are very cold now. Yeah. There was a part in Chalatenango, I think, on which there they found. No, uh, uh, I live in Lourdes. Oh really? No, but in Chalatenango they found snow. I encontraron como nieve en los. Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, so we see in unos pocos meses, años, vamos a tener nieve también. Everywhere. <laughs> okay, so we have many more students. Welcome, Elizabeth. Welcome, Luis. Welcome, Patty. Maximo, Maricela, Maritza, Iris, Rosario, William, Juan, and Arvin. Welcome to the class. It is a pleasure to have you here. And for sure, today we are going to continue working. We are going to continue working on the topic a little bit. And then we are going to work on the platform for us to complete some exercises and for you to have the opportunity to check on the exercises, okay? Remember the agreements that we have. What are our agreements? Elizabeth, read number one. Read number one. Leamos el uno. Practice your English as much as possible. Rosario, number two. Good evening, teacher. 
Number two, can you read number as, two? As, as for her when, when need, needed. Very good, Arvin, number three. Keep your cameras on all the time. Very good, Juan Hernandez, number four. Uh, keep Microsoft off if we are not using them. Number five, Maximo. Attend all your session on time. Excellent. Luis Arevalo, number six. Participate as much as possible. Excellent. Very good. It is number seven. Keep class. Cooperative. Very good. Very good. And number eight, William Bonilla. Collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. Excellent, very good job. Thank you to my volunteers for reading. So yesterday we were talking about what? ¿Qué recuerdan de la clase de ayer? The S on the verb. Exactly, the letter S on the verbs. What else? Uh, how, how we can use the apostrophe? The apostrophe and the possessives. Very good. What else do you remember? Las terceras personas. Third person singular. Very good job. What else? Do and does. We can... Do and does also, right? We were starting the simple present with do and does. Excellent. Very good. I really like when my students practice and review the class. That's very good. So you did a fantastic job, everybody. And here I am going to look for my favorite reaction for my students who are doing great, right? A lot of love for everybody. So here I have the positive and the negative sentences that we were studying yesterday, right? For he, she, and it, we make the chance in the change in the affirmative form. Okay. I am going to ask, right, everybody, what did you find or what examples do you have for the investigation? ¿Qué encontraron en la investigación? Y si tienen algún ejemplo, ¿encontraron algún ejemplo en lo que investigaron? Compartanlo. Levanten su mano en la plataforma y yo con gusto les doy la palabra. Oh, hay una camarita. Ok, William Bonilla. Uh, en español o trato en inglés. Try it. No, the first in English. And then if you have okay, problems, okay. do it Spanish. Ok, go ahead. <laughs> ok. Uh, I, I surfed in the internet and I found, uh, found it some. Algunas temas, digamos, no sé. Some topics, ajá. Uh -huh. Some, Some topics. topics. So I I can use the present tense with I want to say uh, from time mm -hmm. routines routines yes or oh, routines routines uh, for example I get up at five o'clock very good job. Um, so okay. that, that's a very good example. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, okay. William. Excellent job. Juan, can you tell me what did you find? Thank you, William, for your um, for your information. Thank you. We have Juan and Elisa. Uh, Go ahead. Okay. Uh, we use a simple present when we are uh, talking about uh, something that is uh, that is uh, como pasando that is happening uh -huh. that is happening in the, in the same time okay that is present continuous it's okay it's simple present because we have simple present are actions that we do every day and that's good and what you mentioned actions that are happening right now is presente continuo but it's okay también lo vamos a ocupar en unos días, así que guárdeme ahí la información. ¿Qué más? ¿Tenemos algún ejemplo? When we try uh, someone. Ajá. Uh -huh. And uh, can you, did you find any examples? ¿Encontraste ejemplos de oraciones? Uh, yes, uh, I just, 
I study English. Uh, she makes pupusas. Very good. Uh, he, he runs every day, uh, something like that. Excellent examples. Very good job. Thank you, Juan. Excellent. Thumbs up for you. Fantastic. Elizabeth, tell us a little bit about it. She's preparing. Me cambiaba de lugar por la luz. It's okay, don't worry. Um, bueno, yo averigué las fórmulas. No sé si, si es el That's good. Uh, uh, affirm affirmative is the form. Subject plus verb plus form mm -hmm. plus complement. Example, I go to the job. Good. A negative uh, form. Uh -huh. Subject plus uh, auxiliar do. Or uh -huh. Very do. good. Uh, plus not plus verbas form plus complement. Excellent. Uh, example, she does she doesn't study for the test. She doesn't study for the test. Good, very good examples. So as you can see here, and as Elizabeth was sharing, we have here, okay, Elizabeth, thank you very much for the information that you shared. It was fantastic, great job. So what we have here and what Elizabeth was explaining is the formula, right, that we have, for example, in affirmative, say, in affirmative form, you say, I, and I'm going to get the example from one, you say, like, I make pupusas, right? If you can make pupusas, you are Salvador. That's fantastic. But if can you cannot, you? yeah, I can. I am very oh. good at making pupusas. I think if you cannot make pupusas, you can eat them. But that's okay. <laughs> you say, I make pupusas. But if you use a third person, you say, she makes pupusas. She makes pupusas, right? But if you want to make this one negative, how do you make the first one negative? ¿Cómo hacemos la primera negativa? You say, no, no, no sirve para hacer pupusas. So I you say, I don't make pupusas. I don't, right? I don't make pupusas. Sorry, right? Mejor las compramos. I don't make pupusas. And if you want to make a question. Does sheep make pupusas? With the first example. Do oh. I make pupusas? Do I? Do I right, you say like, do I make pupusas? Do and, do. very good, that's the, the one that I was going to mention. It is not very common in English to say, do I? Do I make pupusas? In Spanish, it's very common. Cerré la puerta. Apague la tele. Apague la cocina. Ya me bañé. No me bañaba. Qué frío. So, que se pregunten ustedes mismos. That's very common in Spanish. But in English, you say, do I, do I make pupusas? Do I study English? Because it's true. There are things that you normally do. But the question in this case will be, do you make pupusas? Porque es más común que se lo hagamos a alguien más la pregunta. Do you make pupusas? Yes, I do. Okay, and in the answer, you say, for sure, yes, I do. Okay, oh, si no se nos ha dado ese bien de hacer pupusas, you say, no, I don't. No, I don't. I go to my local pupusas place. And in this case, we say like, she makes pupusas. But if you say, she doesn't make pupusas, Right, volvemos al verbo normal. Y como ocupamos el auxiliary, doesn't, el verbo vuelve a su forma normal. Y si lo queremos hacer en pregunta, so you say, does she make? Oops, and I'm going to make the space there. And you have the question, okay? Pasamos el auxiliary al principio y el verbo queda normal. Okay, and in this case, como se fijan, los verbos cambian nada más en affirmative, okay? So, thank you for the information, thank you for the examples. Sé que todos investigaron, 
dice que todos van a, a ir ahí viendo lo que investigaron ya en la puesta en práctica. So in this one, I have a little chart on which I present the different rules for the verb, okay? Ahí se va, momento de screenshot. <laughs> There you go. Work, works, watch, watches, pass, passes, relax, relaxes, and rush, rushes. Why? Because we have the rule that we add ES for the words that end in CH, S, SH, X or Z, right? In the normal form, you add ES. If we have Y, you add IES. Y y vocal, no cambia. Y y consonante antes, sí cambia, okay? Si tienen la Y y una vocal antes, eso no cambia, solo se agrega S. Si tienen Y y una consonante antes, sí cambia a IES. Y las formas irregulares, Do, you don't say does, right? Does, you say does. Go, you don't say goes, you say goes. Be, you don't say bees. It's am, is, or are. Those are the three forms of the verb to be. Have is for I, you, we, and they. And has is for he, she, or it, right? We need to remember this. We need to remember this rule for us to change the different forms of the verbs, okay? Any question with the rules? Pregunta con las reglas? Three, two, one. Clear as horchata. <laughs> okay. No, clear as water. Here I have the example of the simple present statements, right? Aquí tengo otros ejemplos y los vamos a leer entre todos. Vamos a ver a alguien que abre el micrófono y me lea el primer ejemplo. This one. I walk to school. I walk to school. Negative. Bye. Okay, good. Thank you. I don't live far from here. I don't live far from here. Good. Ojalá que arreglen la manguera pronto. ¿Qué onda la volvieron ahí? Okay, let me see. Okay, I found it. I walk to school. I don't live far from here. Very good. The next one. You ride your bike to school. You ride your bike to school. Fantastic. What is the next one? You don't lie near here. Okay, you don't leave. You don't leave. 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 Very leave. good job. Leave. Live is como cuando transmitimos en Facebook, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. You, don't you don't live, live near live. here. Near here. Very good. The next one. What? Near here. He works near here. And he doesn't work uh, downtown. Downtown. Very good job. He doesn't work downtown. The next one, the next sentence that we have. Anybody, you can open your microphone and help me. No le tenga pena participar. Uh -huh. she, takes, she takes the, bo, the bus to work. She takes the bus to work. You see? ¿Saben qué es la parte más bonita del inglés? Cuando usted se equivoca, se da cuenta que se equivocó y se corrige. Decimos, ¡Eh! The bus. Uy, no, no, no. The bus. Right. Y ahí es donde se va viendo que de veras lo va internalizando. Muy bien. The next one. She... What else? She doesn't drive to work. Very good. Thank you, Juan. The next one. We live with our parents. We live with our, our parents. Our, our we live with parents. our parents. Very good. And the next one? William, help me with the next one. Okay. We don't live 
alone. We don't live alone. Let me see. Una vocecita que no he escuchado este día. Vamos a ver. Maricela. She used public transportation. They use public transportation and the negative? They don't need a car. They don't need a car. Very good. Tengo un Galaxy A12, no sé quién es. Nombrecito, no veo. Okay, hola Galaxy. Help me with the names, my dear students. Okay, tell me, Mr. Luis Arevalo. If we want to make this sentence negative, how do you do it? Hagamos mm. la primera, negativa. I don't walk to school. I don't walk to school, right? I don't walk to school. Escójame alguien más, Luis. Mm, vamos a ver. Uh, Tirsa. Hey, Tirsa. Very good. Make it negative. Good night. <laughs> Number two, make it negative. Hagamos la negativa, la segunda. Perdón, es que me acabo de conectar. No ah, <laughs> por, por Tirsa. You see, Luis estaba así pendiente cuando entrara Tirsa. <laughs> Entonces, a Iris López. Iris, make it negative. It is. Number two, negative. I don't, I don't know. You're no. right. No. This one. You right. You right to the school. Aha, uh -huh. hagamos la negativa. I. No. You don't write. You don't write. Exactly. Very good, it is Very good. Aquí el intento es lo que cuenta. You say, you don't. Porque aquí le ponemos el auxiliar. Justo después del sujeto le vamos a poner el auxiliar. Si es I, you, we, or they, le ponemos don't. Y si es he, she, or it, le ponemos doesn't. Okay? The next one. It is. Give me another name. Who is the next one? Susana Dominguez. Thank you very much. Make it negative. Susanita, where are you? There you go. Negative. Hagamos la tercera negativa. She doesn't. Mm -hmm. he, doesn't he doesn't take the bus to work. Okay. He, she doesn't take the bus to work. That's fantastic. Group, how do we make number three negative? Todos me contestan. How do you make number three negative? He doesn't work near here. Number three. Very good. He doesn't work near here. Number four. Five. Hagamos esta entre todos negativa. We don't live we with don't our parents. parents. We our don't parents. live with our parents. And the last one? They don't, they they don't, don't use public transportation. Public. Public. Right? Remember. Public. 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 Y cuando pronunciamos Public, van a sentir como una explosióncita por aquí en sus pechos. Say public. 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 Ajá, no dice public. Cuando decimos public, no public. se siente. Cuando decimos public, public. la siente. Public. public. Public transportation. Very good job. Now, here we have some examples. And we need to remember. I, you, we, and they. And we have the normal form of the verb. Every day. He, she, or it, we change the verb for S at the end, okay? So, if we go over this one, we're going to create our own examples, right? Si ya pasamos aquí, vamos a ir a hacer nuestros propios ejemplos. And we're going to go here. 
I am going to erase this. <laughs> Here, I have two options of answer, okay? Two options of answer. And what we are going to do is to choose the correct form. In this one, we have my family and I, tenemos live or lives. Si estamos hablando, si estamos hablando de my family and I, ¿qué sujeto estaríamos utilizando? I, you, yeah. we. They. 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 We. they. Really? Yes, they. Si decimos, my family and I. We. 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 Exactly. Si lo incluyen, we. Si no se incluye, they. They. Okay. My family and I. We. Hey. ¿Cuál sería la forma correcta entonces para utilizar si estamos usando we? We live. We live, mm -hmm. right? We live. In the suburbs, my wife and I. My Work. 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 Very good. Because it's my wife and I. We. Near here. So we. Walk. Walk. Work. Work. We walk to work. Our daughter, Emily. Nuestra hija, Emily. ¿Qué sujeto sería ese? Work. work. No, no. Our daughter, Emily. ¿Qué sujeto sería? Work. She. 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 Very good. She. Works. works. She works downtown. So she drives. Drives. drives to work. Our son. ¿Qué sujeto sería our son? He. 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 Very good. Our son doesn't. Doesn't drive. He rides. He rides his bike to school. Very good. My parents, my live. parents. Live. ¿Qué sujeto? Live. ¿Qué sujeto live. serían live. my parents? They. 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 Very good. My parents. Live. 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 In the city. My mother. Takes. 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 A train Takes. to work. My father. Nice. Is retired. So he. He doesn't. doesn't. He doesn't, right? He doesn't work. He also uses, uses public transportation. So they don't. don't. They don't, right? They don't need a car. They don't need a car. Very good job. So I am going to ask. I am going to ask ching, ching, Patricia Elizabeth. Can you read number one, please? Todo el párrafo. My family, I, I am live. Okay, my family the, and I live in the sub, suburb. Yeah, suburbs. My, my wife. Is my wife. My wife and I were near here, so we. Yes. So we, uh huh. Yes. Well, to work over there and work the car. Okay. Our daughter, oh. Emily, works downtown, so she drives to work. Uh -huh. So she drives to work. Very Our good. son doesn't drive. He rides his bike to school. He rides his bike to school. Excellent, Patty. Very good. Very good. Así es. Sin, sin miedo al éxito. Sin miedo al éxito. Mr. Arvin, go ahead. Number two. My parents live in the city. My mother takes a train to work. My father is retired. So he doesn't work now. He also uses public transportation, so they don't need a car. Okay, public, public. Public, public. My parents. 
My uh, parents. Leave. Yeah. My parents leave. Very leave. good job. Thank you, Arvind. Very good job. Excellent. My parents, right? My parents. So based on this example, we're going to go to the next one. I have another one for you, don't worry. I have here, right? The uses of the irregular forms. We need to be careful with the irregular forms because for affirmative forms with I, you, we, and they, we say have. I have a bike, I have a dog, I have a cat, right? But if you say my father, my brother, he or she has, okay? Y para los años no ocupamos have. No decimos I have 35 years old. I am, okay? Eso es importante. And the next one, say, we do our homework every day. My mother does, okay? My parents go. The bus, que es it en este caso, the bus goes downtown. So we need to be very careful because in this one, we don't say, I have is. No, right? I has. <laughs> no, you say, I have. He, she, it has. Tenemos que tener cuidado en, ese, en esa diferencia. Do, does. Go, goes. Okay? Those are irregular forms. We need to be careful with them. Así que veamos qué tipo de irregular forms tenemos aquí. En la primera tenemos my parents, porque es plural. They, my parents have. Okay? A house in the suburbs. My mom and dad. ¿Cuál utilizaríamos ahí si es my mom and dad? Dos personas. Go. Go, go right? My mom and dad go downtown to work. My parents are very busy. Don't say busy, okay? It's busy. Busy. They're very busy. So I do, 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 do. a lot of work at home. Uh, my brother, he, my brother doesn't live with us. He... Um, has. He has. has. He has an apartment apartment in the city. He goes. 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 goes to a school every to a school all day. And he does. 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 Right. Does. Office work at night. Very good. What about the next one? It says I have. Uh, I have a new friend. His name is Jason. We go. go. We go. Right? We go to the same school. And sometimes we do. do. We do or homework together. Or homework together. Good. Nuevas palabras, nuevo vocabulario. Nuevo vocabulario que encontremos aquí. Ninguno. Sometimes. Sometimes. A veces. Algunas veces. Yes. Sometimes. Algunas veces. Together. Together. Juntos. Which one? Miss. Uh -huh. um, to the to the sum. School? Ah, same, to the same. Yes, same. same, la misma. We go to the same school. We go to the same class, right? La misma. Any other one? New words, new vocabulary? Cybers. Let's see, where is it? Where is it? Chun, chun, chun. Where is it? Can you mark the line, please? But busy, busy, uh -huh. busy, busy is busy. ocupado. I'm busy. You say I'm, I'm busy ocupado. right now. Busy. Yeah. So. 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 Entonces. Eh, solamente entonces. Yeah. Well, depending on the use, depending on the use, but the most common is entonces. Es que estaba viendo en el, en el video de uno de los ejercicios, eh, traté de ubicar la palabra so y mm -hmm. decía así, era traducido así. So, it's like, 
así que, así como, it will be like the same, the same meaning for that one. So like, if for example, if you say, I know how to make pupusas, so my family always ask me for that. Yo puedo hacer pupusas, entonces mi familia siempre me pide que las haga. So you can say, you can use so. The most common form, it's for entonces. Así, así como. Right? Those are the uses. Any other question? Lot. A lot. Mucho. Yes. A lot. I do a lot of work at home, right? Lava, plancha, cocina, limpia, a lot, right? You have a lot of things to do. You are very busy, right? Because you have many things to do. Excellent. So, so, entonces, we have here some of the examples. It says, example sentences. I clean my bedroom every night. What is the next example? ¿Todos me ayudan a leerlo? What is the next example? I, I organize my house. I organize my house, right? I organize my house. The next one. I study, I study my, my class. I study. ¿Cómo se dice esto? Study, right? I study my class. The next one. I don't. I do homework at night. I do. I do some work. What about the next one? I wash my clothes. I wash my clothes. What about the next one? I read every morning. The next one. I eat lunch at home. And the last one. I watch TV. I watch TV. Very good. Let me see. I am going to get the list. I am going to get the list here. I am going to ask Tirsa. Can you make this one with she? Cambiémosla y no ocupemos I, ocupemos she. She cleans my bedroom every night. Okay, she cleans my bedroom? Qué chivo. She cleans? She cleans. She cleans. <laughs> You no. Her, uh, ah, oh, fantastic! Her. I don't know how you got the <laughs> answer. Wow. <laughs> Me encanta que no sé cómo le dio la respuesta. <laughs> she cleans her bedroom, okay? Because if her. you say if you say she cleans my bedroom, viene hasta aquí a mi casa y me lo limpia y ahí se va a right? She cleans her bedroom every night. Uh, Luis, this one with he. He organizes has house. Organizes. Organize. Has house. He's. He's very good. <laughs> he organizes his house. Porque estamos hablando de su, de él, right? Yes. The next one. It's going to be for Iris Lopez. He. He studies, uh-huh. Study his class. His class, his right? Class. His class, very good. Arbing, the next one. With he or she? The way you want, he, let's say. He, he does homework at night. He does homework at night. Maricela, yeah. the next one. She. She, she washes. Her clothes. Very good. She washes her clothes, right? Juan, the next one. He. Uh, an example? Yeah, no, this one. We're going to transform this one with he. Oh, he reads every morning. Very good. And I am going to go with Omar Duran. He. He eats lunch at home. Very good. And William Bonilla, this one. She. She watches TV. Excellent job, right? Very good job. I can see that you have mastered the topic. That's very, very nice for a teacher to see and to receive the examples that she's looking for. 
right? So yesterday I was telling you about the questions. Remember, do is for are you with a, and does is for he, she, and it. <laughs> en la plataforma hay un ejemplo donde tienen que hacer preguntas y las tenemos que organizar. Entonces, si no las ponemos en el lugar correcto, la pregunta nos va a salir incorrecta. Y si en el ejemplo ya está el signo de pregunta y ustedes le ponen el signo de pregunta otra vez, eh, incorrecto. So, we need to be very careful. Auxiliary, subject, verb, complement. Auxiliary, subject, verb, complement. And for the answers, yes, the subject do, or yes, the subject does. No, the subject don't, or no, the subject doesn't. Right, these are for the questions and answers. We need to be very careful with that form. Right? In this one, I have some examples of different verbs with the change of the third person. And as the third person is for things that we do every day, son actividades que hacemos todos los días. Es cuestión de rutina. Por ejemplo, tenemos it. Todos comemos, ¿vea? ¿O no? <laughs> Drive. Yes. Work. Take a shower. Bueno. Brush your teeth. Study. Does the homework. Ah. Every day. Write. Wow. When you do the bed. Todos hacen la cama, ¿vea? O se levantan y dejan ahí todo como que un tornado pasó. ¿Ah? Yes, yes, teacher. Every day, every day. Uh, es que la dejo así para volverme a acostar en la noche. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. Walk. We do it every day. Sing. La, 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 la. In the shower, at home, on the street, on the bus, right? Uses the phone. This is a very common thing. Oh, I, I sorry. I erased the H. Uses the phone, right? All the time. Y cuando le marca, no contesta. The next one. Talks when you speak, right? Arrives home, llegar a casa, right? Dance, bailar. Oh speak, it's what we're doing right now. Run. Correct. Listen to music. Right? Escuchar much música. Watch TV. Cook. Cocinar. Cocinar, right? Cocinar. Exercise. Ejercitarse. Sleep. Dormir. Check social media. Every day, all the time. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, what is the other one? Face. The Facebook and, and all these things, WhatsApp, right? WhatsApp, Instagram, TikTok. Yeah, you go from one to another one, right? Yeah, finish Facebook, then you go to Instagram, and then you go to TikTok, and then you go to Instagram again, right? Como el periódico. Read. Leer, right? Play, jugar, shop. A todos nos gusta, no solo a las chicas. A los hombres también les gusta ir de compra. Swim. A ver. Nadar. Buy, comprar, comprar, change the clothes, right? When you change the clothes, cuando te cambias ropa, Organ. clean, uses the restroom, that is something that you always do, right? Todos usan el, 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 el baño, right? Restroom is public, bathroom, it's private, okay? Wake up uh, in the morning and go to the gym, right? El Salvador es un gimnasio completo, right? Me agarró la tarde. Corre. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Vayan a la coaster. Haciendo ahí brazos. Ejercitando los brazos. Go to the gym, right? Very good. No alcanzó el bus. Let's walk. Hagamos piernas. You go to the gym. So, these are different activities that we do every day. Todos estos verbos que tengo aquí los podemos ocupar en la oración que está ahí arriba. Y van a estar correctos. Alejandro, it's every day. 
Alejandro listens to music every day. Alejandro eh, swims every day. Pero aquí no estamos hablando de Alejandro. Estamos hablando de nosotros. Vamos a hablar de nosotros en tercera persona. And I can tell you, Natalie reads every day. Todos, prepárenme un ejemplo de ustedes con uno de los verbos que tengo aquí. Y el que lo tenga listo me lo da. I can say, Natalie teaches English every day. Use one. Solo agarren uno y le cambian su nombre. Susan dances every day. Susan dances every day. Good. Luis uses the phone every day. <laughs> uses the phone every day. Uh -huh. Rosario watches TV. Watches TV. Very good. Elizabeth speaks every day. Elizabeth speaks every day. Very good. Arvin plays on the phone every day. <laughs> he plays on the phone every day. Very good. The next one. Next. Tengo 16 participantes y me han dado solo cuatro oraciones. Vamos. William listens to music. William listens to music. Excellent. Another one. Patricia takes a shower every day. Patricia takes a shower every day. Another one. Iris sleeps every day. Iris sleeps every day. Very good. Another one. Omar eats every day. Omar eats every day, right? Next. Irsa works every day. Irsa works every day. I think everybody here, we work Hi. every day. Yes. Thank you, Tirsa. Very good. Who's next? Huh. No, de penitencia, alguien no le diga. Five, four, three, two. One. <clears throat> One. Maximo, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Maximo wakes up every day. Uh-huh. Juan. Juan creo que se nos fue a comprar pupusas. ¿Dónde está? I ah, play, está. I play video games every day. I play okay. video games every day. I play video games every day. In, in my Galaxy A12. Who is it? Todo es un misterio. No sé quién es mi Galaxy A12. There you go. Hey. So, sigue siendo un misterio, no me contestó. And let's see, Maricela. Maricela cooks every day. Maricela cooks every day. So as you can see, these examples go with every single name, right? We are going to go to the teamwork time and we are going to go to the platform. Vamos a ir ahorita a la plataforma a trabajar un poquito y para que veamos los ejercicios que ya hicimos. Y cómo vamos. Recuerden la plataforma, les envié el link de cómo entrar y eh, obviamente ponen su uh, correo y la contraseña que les envié, que es súper difícil. Súper complicado. Ok, tenemos cinco secciones. Les envié el calendario de cómo les podemos ir trabajando para que no se nos quede eh, sección sin trabajar. Ok, cada sí, sección. Uh, yes. Question, eh, go ahead. Precisamente Precisamente tiene que estar terminada mañana o el viernes hasta qué hora? No, no, o sea, les, les, ese es el calendario que les mando sugerido, vea. Pueden terminarla el viernes, el sábado temprano. Pero a mí ajá. me cayó un mensaje eh, eh, donde dice que eh, el viernes la revisan. Sí, la revisamos, pero la pueden terminar el viernes temprano, el viernes por la tarde, el viernes por la noche, y si no la terminaron el viernes, todavía la pueden terminar el sábado por la mañana, las secciones 1 y 2. Ok. okay. Sí, es que, sí, porque yo solamente la sección 1 he terminado. Eh, Ahí lo, no me... la vamos a ir trabajando, la vamos a ir trabajando de a poquito, ok. Ok, so, let's, let's check the first evaluation that we have here. In the first evaluation, we have to select an option. ¿Cuál opción escogimos aquí? My family and I live. ¿Se les hace familiar el ejercicio? <ríe> Lo acabamos de hacer. Live in the suburbs. My wife and I 
work. Work near here. We? We walk. We walk, right? Or daughter Emily? Works. Work. Works, works, because it's she, right? So she? Right. Drives. Drives. Our son? Doesn't. Doesn't drive and he? Rides. He rides. rides his bike to school. My parents? Live. Live? Sorry, I choked. Aha, uh -huh, good. <laughs> Sorry, it was my bad. My mother? Takes. Takes. My father is retired, so he? <clears throat> Doesn't. Doesn't. He also <coughs> use, use, uses. uses. And they don't. They don't. don't need a car, right? So you submit it, and all of them are going to be correct, right? On the next evaluation that we have here, right? On the next evaluation, it's, let me see, it's this one. Okay, let me load it. Let me see, let me see. Está en rebeldía. There we go. For the next exercise. Okay, this is the second one that we did. My parents have, have. Oh. my mom and dad Go, 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 because go. it's two people. My mom and dad go. My parents are very busy, so I do. Do very good. My brother doesn't live with us. He has. has. He has. Very good. She. Uh, he goes. 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 He goes to school uh, all day, and he. Those. Does. He does. 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 And the last one, I. He have. I um. have a new friend. His name is Jason. We. Mm. Go. We go. We go to the same school and sometimes we. Mm. Do. 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 Or do. homework together, right? <clears throat> and then you click on submit and for sure you get your correct answers, right? And as you can see here, we have the final evaluation of the section. That is, let me see. The final evaluation of the section, it's a reading. In this case, you have to read the information. You have to read the information and you have to, for sure, organize the different activities according to what you have here. Aquí tenemos que organizar la información dependiendo de lo que nos brinda cada artículo. ¿eh? Vamos a enumerar las actividades que la persona hace. So in this one, we have Brittany Davis. So she goes to class, she takes the bus, she works, she studies, or she gets up. In this one, you say, what is your schedule? I start at eight in the morning. I get up at seven. ¿A qué hora se levanta? Yeah, seven. At seven. And take the bus to school. When do you, when do your classes end? Yes. They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening for from eight until midnight, right? And here you have the different uh, things that she does, right? She first wakes up. What is the second activity that she does? She takes the bus, then she goes to class, then she works, and at the end, she studies. In this case, we have Joshua Burns. He is a website designer. And in this case, I am going to share about him and we're going to read it, okay? We are going to make it bigger for us to read it. And let me see. Maximo, can you help me to read his information? 
what's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. Uh -huh. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at 8. Around 1, I take a lunch break. How late do you work? And I will read the last one. Sometimes I work all night to finish a project, right? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. So that is the information for Joshua. He gets up, he goes for a run, and he works at home. And he uh, stays at home. He takes lunch at one and he stays up all night. What is the first option that we need to choose here? What is the first activity that he does? ¿Cuál sería la primera actividad que hace Joshua? Se levanta. Ah. Get up. Get up. Get up. He gets up. This is the number one. What is the next activity? Va a correr. Go for a run, right? He goes for a run. Number two. What is the next one? Breakfast. He eats breakfast, but I think we don't have. Ah, yeah, it's right here. Number three. And the next one. What is the next activity? He works. He works. And the last one, he eats dinner. Right? And nuestra última opción. He eats dinner. We're going to go and read the last one about Maya Black. And for this one, I am going to ask Rosario to help me. Teacher. Yes. Faltó una. We missed one, really? He goes for a run. No, it's number two. It's right here. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, we have it. And we go with Maya Black. Let me see. Rosario, can you help me to read it? What's your schedule? Schedule, schedule like? I work at nine. I go to work at 10. And uh, play and play. I play. Mm -hmm. I play on until until three a.m. o'clock. Three a.m. You say three a.m. A.m. What do you do after work? Sorry, sorry. I I have dinner. Because I have dinner. dinner. Uh -huh. Then I take a I taxi home. What time do you go to bed? What time do you go to bed? I, do, I go to bed. I go to bed at five in the morning. At five in the morning, right? It was kind of a small there, but we were able to read it. What is the first activity that Maya does? She goes to work. She goes to work, right? That's the first one. She goes to work. What about the next one? Uh -huh. finish the work. She finished work, right? That's number two. After finishing work? Uh, dinner. She has dinner, right? That's number three. She has dinner. The next one. She goes home. She goes home. And the last one? She goes, she goes to bed. She goes to bed, right? There you go. And these are the activities. <coughs> totally correct. Fantastic. So as you can see here, we finish with the section number one, right? We finish with the evaluations in section number one. And what we were doing here, and I think the one that you were asking the questions is in this one. No, I think it's it's done. What was the one that you were asking questions? ¿En cuál fue la que tenían problemas que no la podían completar? Sí, este, así como usted dijo, ¿verdad? Que 
las que ya tenían el signo de interrogación, entonces yo como lo estaba volviendo a poner, me lo tomaba como ah, correcto. Ah, that was the problem, right? That was sí. the problem. Así que le borré el signo y ya me lo tomó. Pero okay. como uno está más enfocado en, en ordenar la pregunta, no, no that, se fija en esos detalles pequeños. That's fantastic, right? That's fantastic. Right? Gracias, teacher. That, that's okay, fantastic. Because we need to take care of these little details. So in this one, we are going to use do and does. This is something that we are going to see in our next class, right? It's tomorrow, but you can advance on the reading. And also here we are going to use there is and there are, that it's the topic for tomorrow. But uh, if you can advance on this one and watch the videos, that's more than perfect, okay? And let me see the last one. In this one, what you have to do is to complete the exercises, ¿ok? Alguien hoy preguntaba, ¿pero qué es esto de homework? Cuando ustedes se van a su progreso, van a ver cuánto han avanzado y si las homework están terminadas. ¿Qué son las homework? Son obviamente estos examencitos que hemos estado haciendo. Yo obviamente, como soy la, la orientadora, tengo aquí pues las, las tareas marcadas. Todas las homework one ya están terminadas. Homework number two, Toda la sección está terminada, por eso tengo el 100%. Hice todas las evaluaciones de la sección, todas tienen, eh, están arriba de 100, por eso están obviamente todos terminados. Cuando terminemos la sección 2, todos los chequecitos, todos los exámenes, va a estar marcada toda la barra del 2, igual con el 3, 4, 5, y cuando lleguemos al examen de, eh, de medio term, que sería por ahí de la sección 3, Igual van a llenar la barra. Ahí van a ir viendo que estas barras se van llenando media vez ustedes van avanzando en los ejercicios. Eso es lo que significaba esto. Alguien lo preguntaba hoy por la mañana. Así que, eh, so tomorrow we are going to study section number two and we are going to go and do the examples. Okay. If you can advance on this one, that will be perfect. Okay. So let's go back here. That was our teamwork time. It was really good to go and finish the section together, right? So this is what we were doing. Este fue el ejercicio que hicimos en la plataforma. And I am going to ask some questions to you tomorrow when we start the class. And I am going to leave it here. Le vamos a tomar un screenshot y se lo voy a enviar a su WhatsApp, okay? For you to check on the question and tell me true or false, okay? Se la voy a enviar a WhatsApp. Lean todas las oraciones y ahí ustedes deciden si es true or false, porque las vamos a preguntar mañana Teacher, cuando comience este, la clase. Oh, antes de que termine la clase, Dígame. este cree que me puede ayudar en la, este, la 1.10, por favor. Voy ahorita, con gusto. Voy, 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 voy. 1.10, vamos. Sí. Ok, ahorita vamos. Chun, chun, chun. Vamos a ir a la sección 1.10. Ok, here we go. Ah, me sale. <laughs> Sorry, mm -hmm. I voy para otra vez. It's kind of slow. There you go. Section 1. And we're going to help Rosario. Sí. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. So if the rest of you need to go and do something else, that's fantastic. The class is over. And if you want to stay and help Rosario with me, that's no problem. Try for me. I am very happy that you stay and help me. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, my internet is kind of slow. Creo que se puso nervioso. Si no, le ayudo en el grupo de WhatsApp. Okay? Okay. So I am going to contact you there because my internet is very slow. I don't know what's happening. Ah, no, it's there. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, 1.10. Good. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, four. Y la... Ah, uh, good. Ah, uh, this is the example, right? Yes, for sure. Todas um, las contesté, menos esas dos, no, hay dos que no las puedo contestar. Number three? Uh, or, la... Four uh -huh. y, y six, six or five, creo que es. Okay, number four is when do you study English? When do you study English? 
And number six, um, number yeah. six, do Where's you, six? do you and your friends, do you and your friends play uh, con, sports? Con me salía mal. On weekends, do you and your friends play sports on weekends? So those do are, you? do you and your friends? Do you and your friends play sports yeah. on weekends? Right, that's the one you have it. And for the rest of you, here you have the other X. Sure. Okay? Yes. Thank you yes. very much. Thank you, uh, class. I am going to see you tomorrow for another class. Continue practicing, continue advancing on the platform and have a beautiful night. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye -bye. Good night. Take care. Bye -bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.